ganador somos tu challenge Casey. Ja, 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 ja. ¡Ay! ¡Omega! Oh, Casey, you're going to take another three channels. Okay, three channels. Okay. Oh my God, Casey, I make you cry. It smells so good. It's making me cry. Nandito na ako. Good morning, everyone. Excited na ba kayo? Okay. Uh, of course, right now we're getting ready for kitchen collabs, but in the meantime, nags spring cleaning ako. So, eto yung bahay ko. Rene ready ko na lahat yan for Casey's closet. Kasi ang dami kung spring cleaning na ginawa dito sa bahay. I'm sure kayo rin, nung nag quarantine talagang ang dami nyo yung time para magayus ng gamit, para mag, um, mag garage sale, or magpamigay, or magregalo, or magbenta ng mga luma nyo yung gamit, or gamit na hindi nyo naginagamit. So, in the meantime, na nagre ready ako for kitchen collabs kagabi, nags spring cleaning din ako. And I wanna say again, good morning to everybody. I'm here in Manila, Philippines, and I am so excited because today we are making another dish. This is going to be another kitchen collabs day with another friend of mine who is a chef. Um, he is the one and only Chef Chele Gonzalez of Gallery by Chele sa BGC. So this is one of my most favorite Metro Manila restaurants. And itong si Chef Chele napakagaling because um, he goes around the Philippines and around the world para maghanap ng iba-ibang ingredients na pwedeng lutuin at isama sa mga kilala na nating mga dish dito sa Pilipinas. And so today, we are making a sinigang na sugpo! But, may kakaiba tayong ingredients na gagamitin today. So, let's meet Chef Chele Gonzalez of Gallery by Chele. Sana online na siya. Because ready ready na ako magluto today. Hello! Hi, Chef! Chele of Chele Gonzalez. Buenos dias! Buenos dias! We have all our followers here now waiting for what we are going to cook today. So, Chef, as always, I am the amateur. Okay. You are the real master chef. So I will be following you. You will guide me. You will teach us how to cook. So thank you for being here again. I'm so excited. So where do we start, chef? So, we are going to do something similar as a sinegan. It's not really a sinegan. Uh, okay. It's something we learned when we went to Coron to with the Tapanas. And then we were able to see, you know, we were walking around the town. And then we show the uh, hibiscus. This is the hibiscus flower, okay? Uh, this is the fresh hibiscus ones. And this, this is the this dry ones, the one I sent you yesterday, okay? So in other words, Chef, this is gumamela, right? Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Oh, so this is dried gumamela flower or hibiscus flower, which we're using to cook our sinigang today. The next thing that we need is going to be the prawns. This is style of prawns. Beautiful. Look at this. We're going to have a beautiful lunch! Onion and tomato? Wait, onion Chef, tomato. This, is, this is not onion, right? This is No, this is different. going to be radish. That is always beautiful radish. in Japan. So radish. Okay. And we are going to have something super, super uh, Filipino. That is okay. going to be uh, alubati. And you know, alubati in other countries is very expensive. In the Philippines, something very common. For me, really? you know, when Why is it expensive food, in other countries, Chef? I think, you know, uh, some, some countries, they import it from Southeast Asia or other countries like this, and they think it's uh, free sustainable. So, this is like, like, like the firm, you know, that sometimes you go and... You see yes, I got this yeah. from my from my Tapit Bahai's garden. This oh! Is <laughs> nice. This is from you! Banana leaf, very Filipino. We are, we're going to use a traditional Filipino technique to cook the prawns, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to peel the prongs. We take the head, we remove the head. You see these beautiful heads with all the fat there, it's going to be nice. So we remove the head and then we peel it also as well. We leave this, you know, we don't remove this part. We just keep the last one there. It's almost done. Ta da! Ta cha! It's done! Yay! Next step is gonna be to have a pot. Okay, I have one. Do you have a little bit of olive oil or any kind of oil? Yes. Let's 
put in the pot to oil. Okay, so olive oil. Yeah, and then maximum heat. Maximum heat, okay, got it. Another important thing is we are going to use everything that we import from, from the head, we're going to do the broth. Okay? So, so we, we, have to keep, we keep the head and we keep the body with the tail on, right? Yes, that is the first okay. aspect we're going to do right now. We put maximum heat. When it's very, very hot and it's smoky, is the time we are going to add the heads of the broth. We want to caramelize and give the flavor. Okay. So don't don't think you are burning out because we want that. We want to be a single the smoky. Mine start to be smoky and I'm going to add the, the kitchen heads. We want all of the there we go. There we go. This is smell amazing. Amazing! Mm -hmm. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Mine is smoky and it's getting, look, the color. Uh, yeah. Wow, I see your kitchen, chef. How is it going, Casey? It's popping, it's popping. <laughs> okay, next step. We're going to put water, the water, one liter of water. This is the next step. <laughs> now we are going to do the most craft part that is going to be make the prawns inside of the banana leaf. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we add the tomato. Got it. Ginagaya ko lang siya. And we are going to add the onion as well. Now, guys, we are going to add a little bit of salt at the beginning. So, chef, one pinch of salt? Yes, a couple of pinches of salt. The reason is, you know, we need to integrate all the flavors. If we don't have any salt, uh, we will not have it, you know, properly balanced later on. Okay, oh. mine is boiling. Okay, I don't want a strong boiling, so I'm going to simmer. I'm going to put it lower, and it has to go slowly, slowly, chop, 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 chop. Okay? okay. <laughs> chop, chop. So, chef, this is still on high heat for me because it hasn't boiled yet. So okay. it needs to really come to a. I learned yeah. this last week. Rapid boil. So yes. it has to boil. So, Exactly. So now it's highest heat until it starts to boil. When it starts to boil is the time we lower down. So, uh, si Chef Jelle ang isa sa pinaka-professional, pinaka-magaling na chef na kinala ko. And he's here right now in the Philippines. He's married to a Filipina and loves travel all around the Philippines para maghanap ng iba-ibang ingredients na pwedeng gamitin sa kanyang pagluluto. So, Chef Jelle today is cooking our familiar sinigang, although mm -hmm. may, may isang kakaibang ingredient na pinakilala sa akin si Chef Jelle na hindi ko man nakilala dahil sa itsura niya pag-dry. Kung hindi niyo alam kung ano to, hindi siya pusit. Isa siyang bulakla na kilalang kilala ng Pilipinas. Ang tawag dito ay gumabela. Pero dried na siya. So ang kulay niya nasa loob na dry na. Pero lulutuin natin siya dahil ito ang pampaasim ni Chef Chele na natutunan niya sa Palawan. So join us! We are cooking Tiger Prawn Sinigang with hibiscus flour with Chef Chele Gonzalez if you just tuned in. So the water is here, Chef. The prawn heads, tomatoes, onions, the broth, the salt. It's all here with olive oil. What's our next step, Chef? Okay, now... Like a truly sinegang, let's take one or two of the rice and we're going to peel it. We are going to cut it in two or three pieces. So one piece inside, two pieces, three pieces. Wow, Chef, I'm just copying what you're doing. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'm faking it till I make it. Okay, uh -huh. in, done. I'm going to I'm going to put 20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to put here 20 minutes. That's the time that the soup should be. Okay. So we're going to do a little something a little bit more. Uh, uh, not for restaurant. We are going to take out the. You know, here is here is the inside. Here is the uh, all the tribe. Okay. People don't need to do this at home, eh? but since you know I'm a professional chef, I want to do it. We are going to cut the end part. Okay. So. Uh, we have here, and here it should be a little bit of the tripe or the intestines. And I'm gonna do what you're doing, Chef. So I cut okay. that part. We cut that part, and then we make sure it's not tripe or intestines here. So we start to re remove it. So.
so it's completely I clean. I don't have a shiny. It's okay. Just try to cut it in the way that it's completely clean, like this. People, please don't need to do this at home. I just do it because it's my job, and if I would not do it, I will feel bad. And I also want to challenge Casey. <laughs> Chef, there's none. Okay, so if it's not, it's good. This one, if you see, it's a little bit more red. This might give a little bit of bitterness flavor. So I'm going to cut it and make sure nothing is inside, okay? So in other words, kung sa Tagalog, tatanggalin natin yung theme. The black part is mapait. That's the bad, bitter part. We are going to do now the banana leaf. This is the most artisanal part, okay? Banana leaf, take the banana leaf. Okay, so we are going to put, we are going to make a small package. Okay, so banana leaf and on top is the front, right? Yes. Important, we are going to put a little bit of uh, salt. And let's wrap it. And we are going to put the toothpick. After the salt is just to wrap, nothing yes, else? Yes, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. Okay. You no, know, we close it like this. Okay. Oh. Oh, Casey, you are a professional. You are lying to me. What do the banana leaves do? Why why are we wrapping it in banana leaves? The reason we are wrapping it in banana leaves is because it's a very ancestral Southeast Asian technique. I love that. Yes. Here we go. Okay, we have Chef Chelle sent pinadala na ko ng package ni Chef Chelle. And ang laman, yung banana leaves, yung ingredients, yung gumamela, and then now, since we don't have charcoal, since we are at home, but maybe we are cooking a condo, we are going to do something similar. We are going to take, uh, you need something to put the prom, uh, anything, any surface that is metal. We are going to take the top. In the top of the of this, this, we put here, like this. Okay. And then let me go a little bit down there. We're gonna use fire. Oh, no. Fire, fire. We open. Ay, ay. Oh my god. Just... Okay. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay. Okay, okay. Touch it until you get this color. Look this color. Guys, you see it's, it's, it's a little bit burnt in some of the size and the smell is just amazing. Wait, why is there like oil coming out of the banana? Look. Uh, it 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 looks for this color. Look, this color. We have to have this color there. This, like you mentioned, the oil of the banana will go inside of the front and it's gonna just give taste. Thank you for my new toy, chef. Oh, the bar is gonna love you. <laughs> Chef, wala nang gas! <laughs> we ran out of gas! Oh! No Sorry. more! It's okay, but we got, I got it, I got it. Got it, okay. Uh, next step. Let's go to the next step. The radish, let's peel it. Let's peel three more. Yeah, let's peel three more. Okay. So, so Chef, torching banana leaves is not something you can do over the gas. So our followers right now are the ones that are saying that they, if they're asking if they can actually do that on the gas stove. Absolutely, yes. You can do it, you know, at home with your stove. There we go. We are all Okay, there. last one in. So the same, we put it in now, Chef, or no? Let me put this there. In half again. So okay, we okay. have to take four pieces for one, from one radish. Okay. okay. So half and then half again. Okay, and then we're going to take another three chalots. Okay, three chalots. Okay. And we're going to peel it. If you have water, yes. start to boil the water for the vegetables. Okay. Are... So we have another cap, another saucepan. We'll put water in there, right? Yes. Okay, chef, I've peeled the three shallots. What's the next step? The next step is when we have the boiling water, we are going to put the chalots in the boiling water. I'm, I'm crying. It made me, me cry. Me too! Me too! So, Sinegal is done. Two to see. 20 minutes already. Okay? 21 minutes. Okay? Oh my god, Casey, I made you cry. It I smells so out. good, it's making me cry. <laughs> Sobrang sarap ng amoy niya. So, what's the next step? 
The next step is uh, leave the vegetable boiling in the pot. Yes, and leave it boil there. Leave it boil. Okay, I'm letting it boil, and then. And then we are going to. Uh, okay. And we are going to strain the soup. One, two, three, go. Okay. All right. With this one, just uh, you can uh, throw it. We are not going to use it anymore. Okay. And now we have the soup. So. Uh, so we have the soup the here. The time we are going to do the uh, we are going to make the sour onion and the color. Okay. All right. So we've strained the soup and I'm putting it back in the pot. Yes. It's uh, still on heat. Okay. Boil it. Bring it. We're bring boiling it. Boil. Okay. Boil. So that still needs to boil. And now we're with the gumamela. And what do we do with this hibiscus, chef? We cut it a little bit. We make it smaller. Cut it in a smaller. So we put it in? Yeah, all at the same time. Yes. Okay, let's go. Wow, these are dried gumamela flowers. Clean okay, rice. chef, what's next after the hibiscus? We put this with clean wrap. We are going to cover. We are going to let infuse for a few minutes. Is it still on on medium heat, chef? No, Rekhi, just stop it. Stop it. Stop. Okay, okay. Okay, remove. Okay, we just so, keep it like that. It looks like that. With the yes, hibiscus perfect. inside. Perfect. And leave it okay, for what's minutes. next? We're going to steam the prongs. Now we are done. All right, so my steamer is already on. So when this is boiling, we are going to put the prongs inside. So I put water in here, and then this is my bamboo steamer from when I was a student in Paris. So what am I going to do when this is already steaming? When this is steaming, we're going to put three minutes there. Three minutes. Okay. And then the prawns go in? Yes. So now when it's steaming already, also mine is almost about to... We need to make sure that it's uh, getting... That. Okay, just put it inside. So there, my water is boiling. There's water in here. We already have the hibiscus in move the it, soup move it a bit. with the broth. Move it, move it. There. Move it. So the color will like go Move it, move it. Come on, oh. chef, let's dance. I like to move it, move it. Come on, chef, let's like move it, move it. <laughs> I like to move it, move it. Let's take the um, alubati. Okay, alubati. Let's take, uh, you know, the ones that are a little bit smaller and okay. more beautiful ones. This will give a beautiful flavor and texture as well. Okay, so two things are happening right now. We have the prawns in the steamer. For how many minutes again, Chef? Around three, but I think mine is starting to boil now. Uh, so I will put now uh, three minutes. Okay. Unless we can take one, see if it's cooked. And then okay. the we're done. And then we just need to put everything together. Perfect. We yes. have also, uh, in about two minutes, we're going to take the the onion and the radish from the boiling. It's boiling, not right now. The, the radish it's boiling. And the Here. Okay. I'm going to open one of the onions. So we can take out the, the radish and the onion. Okay. And then? Let me put it there. Let's cut the onion in two. Okay. okay. The only one we cut it in two, like this. Okay. And we are going to show you something super simple and super beautiful. Then we take the onion, the different um, stems Layers. of the onion. Maybe it's too hot, you can wait for a second. Let me show you how it's going to look like, because it's going to be something that we do in the in the restaurant. Ooh, looks good. Look how beautiful looks this. Oh, it's wow. Nice. Wow. Like a small leaf of onion. Like this. You're so good. You're so good. I just copied you. Yes, it's so easy to do it with you. And then we just keep it there. Yes, I can smell yes, the bamboo. The I can smell the banana leaves, the shrimp. Okay. Okay, let's check. Wow, you guys, look at this. Look at that. The prawns have steamed in the banana leaves. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells really, really good. Okay, let's take one. 
Okay, we'll take one. One from. Especially cook. Look. It's red. Look at this beautiful thing. Woohoo! 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 I'm going to cut it so people can see how it's in the middle. Okay. This is how a chef wanted. It's a little bit marble in the middle. You see? So this is perfectly cooked. It's not too cooked. It's not too uh, uh, dry, neither. I love to cook with you. It's so easy and so good. Thank you for teaching me how to cook, chef. One thing important always, taste the food. Okay? Mm, mm. Mm. Smoky, all the banana leaf. How good it is? This is so good. It's juicy. It's healthy. It's fresh. Imagine this in the sitting down. And uh, we have the prawns ready. We are going to strain the soup with the hibiscus. So we strain the soup twice. Once with the prawn head, once with the hibiscus. So, and then do I put the prawns inside? Yes, with everything outside. And then we are going to taste it. Let's taste the soup. Wow, look, the soup is red. Mm. Prawns here. Prawns. A little bit salt. of salt. Okay. A little bit of olive oil. Okay. Okay. And we are going to put the vegetables. Let's put all the vegetables around. The radish, okay, the onions, that. the alubaki, right? Yes, onions and alubaki. We okay. put it there. And we are going to put the soup. Perfect. This looks like such a little <laughs> bit Sorry. Okay, soup here in the bottom. There. Oh are. my god, I scored that. <laughs> I feel so unprofessional. It's okay. Let me do this properly. Let me do this properly. They are looking the top to give some color. Okay, chef. Sinigang na tiger prawns sa alubati. Oh my yeah. god! Mine. I'm back in the ocean. Mine looks like a dagat. Yours <laughs> looks like a nice social na ilog. I'm gonna try and make mine a uh, nice like yours. Ready? Okay. Okay. So. Here is our tiger prawn sinigang with hibiscus, alubati, shallots, radish, olive oil. And okay. of course, the, the prawns were mixed in, were uh, steamed in banana leaves in a bamboo steamer. Wow, that olive oil changes everything and the prawns are so juicy and fresh. So good. <laughs> We love that. Such a different take on the Sinigang Chef. Thank you so much for being with us. Chef Chele Gonzalez, thank you. We thank will you, Casey. Instagram for the final product. We love cooking with you. Thank you for teaching us how to cook. Thank so, you. Show thank us your dish again. Thank you guys for joining us on another kitchen collab with me and the Master Chef, Chef Chele Gonzalez. Gonzalez, look how amazing that looks. It is the traditional sinigang, but with a twist. The gumamela flower, which makes it so fragrant and so amazing. Forged the banana leaves, steamed the prawns in the banana leaves in a bamboo skewer. Can't get more Southeast Asian than that. Thank you, Chef Chele, for teaching us hey, a Thank different way much. of cooking our traditional sinigang nasupo. We love you. We had so much fun. We'll see you on YouTube on the Casey Diaries Kitchen Collab for the whole episode that you just witnessed live. Thank you everyone for joining us, Chef. Any last words for everyone? Uh, thank you very much. And thank you for teaching us how to cook. We love you, Chef Chele. Thank you. Ciao. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Wow, did you see? We made steamed prawns in bamboo skewers, in banana leaves, torch them for the oil to get into that prawn. And then we actually steamed that, put it in our sinigang that we made with olive oil, radish, and shallots, alubati, all of that with the gumamela flour na pampaasin. Obviously, this was a different way of making sinigang. Adjust it to your taste. Hope you enjoy this. Hope you guys copy it and tag me and Chef Chella when you cook it. We can't wait to see your version of the tiger prawn sinigang with hibiscus flour. We love you guys. Till next week on Kitchen Collabs. Bye!